Hey, Charlie, it's your boy, Trey. I see an icon, a showstopper But they not gonna believe me cause I'm just a Julia So I tell them I know wife and a daughter Alright, y'all, it's your boy, Trey Man. Today we're gonna be reviewing A Boogie's new album, Better Off Alone. But also during this, we're gonna open something. Imagine this is not the right one. <laughs> I got the Better Off Alone vinyl. And yeah, also I seen somebody say it's two bonus songs on here, which is really interesting. So it, it's called Free Spider. And uh, if you say so, they aren't on streaming. So I'm like so interested to listen. I need to actually listen to this because <laughs> that's crazy. It's two bonus songs on this. This is not an album. But um, after giving this a few days to listen to this album, I'm liking it and liking it more every listen. Like. This is actually his best album in a few years. It's better than the last one. It may or it may or may not grow on me more than um, Artist 2.0. Shout out, Artist 2.0 was really good. Plus the deluxe, but um, I think it's really solid. I got a few favorite songs we're gonna talk about in a second. Um, oh, this is a poster. Okay, Boogie upgrading on the vinyl. Oh shit, it's signed. <laughs> it's signed, okay. Shout out whoever got me this. Facts, facts. Okay, look at the, I like the cover for sure. Okay, gotta get a little. Let me know what y'all think about the album cover too. Oh my God, look at this vinyl, yo. Look at that color, that's beautiful. But um, yeah, I just wanted to um, include the vinyl, like a vinyl opening too. So um, I like it pretty cool. I didn't know it was signed, so I got a signed um, A Boogie. We will be going to see A Boogie soon. Hopefully get a concert vlog out for that. That should be fun. Um, so my favorite songs, well, let's start off with the artist performance, I would say. On this, I feel like A Boogie really tapped into his melodic bag more than, more than um, recently. I feel like the last few projects, he, I mean, he was singing a lot more on the last few projects and um, rapping also, but this one, he really tapped back into that sound that I like the most from A Boogie, which is like Hoodie Season and The Bigger Artist. I feel like this album reminds me of those two the most out of any album he's dropped in recent years. But I, I really, I think A Boogie did great but I also think this isn't enough for me as an A Boogie fan because this dude takes forever to drop. And he, I think he should drop another project this year. That's just my opinion to really show people that he's back. Like, cause whenever he first came out, he was dropping every year. He, recently he's been taking two, three years off, but you know, life happens. So you don't know what he's going through. But um, yes, artist performance was great. Content. On this album, I feel like obviously he's talking a lot about heartbreak and not trusting his girl. But, but he also is talking about what it's like to be in a position he's in now because where he comes from, like it's just, this is just a completely different lifestyle. He also took a few jabs of rappers taking his sound. Also called himself the king of New York a few times. Like, I'm the best rapper in New York. Yeah, I made the books. Uh, he said, I don't know, um, they shooting. But um, I also like what he did with including the EP songs because those are some of my favorite A Boogie songs in the last few years. Like, Did Me Wrong, No More Questions, Tiffany's. Oh, y'all, P&E was so good. I remember he was gonna drop that as a single, so I. I was like, when I heard that song, I was like, that's amazing. He should have been dropped it. But yeah, the content was really good. I'll say good for content. Um, features. The features were Future, Cash Cobain. I do not like that Cash Cobain song. I'm sorry, that's just not my kind of song. But we got Young Thug, Future, Lil Dirk, Friday, Mariah the Scientist. Me personally, I think Lil Dirk had the 
best performance on the album as far as features. Um, I mean, you got a super melodic song from A Boogie and Future that was solid. Then you got Young Thug singing on a hook on Let's Go Away, which was really good as well. But I think a spotlight was really great. You got Dirk talking about winning a Grammy. If he got a speech, he would have thanked, thanked the trenches because that's, that's where he coming from, man. But yeah, it's, it was good to see Dirk talk about winning that Grammy because he recently did that. That's how you know that's also a new verse because um, he won a Grammy back a few months ago. But um, also Mariah the Scientist did really well on PE. That's one of my favorite songs off the album. One of my favorite songs off the album. Um, speaking of that, my, my top three songs right now, as far as what I've been liking, I've been listening to the last few days, Spotlight featuring Lil Durk, They Shooting, and I really, I really like the intro better off alone, but you can also throw in Dark King. Let me know y'all top three songs down below. And also thank y'all so much for showing so much love on the album reaction. It, it really makes me feel good. Cause A Boogie, literally, I would love for my A Boogie videos to be my biggest videos because that's my favorite rapper. But yes, yes. So features, features are good. Features are also good. Um, replay value for me, this is really replayable right now. Like, I really like it. And it's also good to get some new A Boogie songs. It's really replayable. He, like, it's so many solid tracks. Not really any misses besides Body featuring Cash Cobain. I just don't like that type of beat for some reason. That's just not my style. But yes, it, really good replay value right now. And I really hope that everyone sees that as fans and stuff. Let me know what y'all think about that down below. But yeah, man, that's that's what I'm thinking about the album so far. It's really, really solid. I'm really enjoying it. I just hope, I mean, knowing A Boogie, we're gonna get a deluxe probably because he, he's always, he's dropped deluxe like his last three albums. So hopefully we get a deluxe or we just get a new project all together, man. And if y'all gonna be going to see A Boogie in the Dallas area, let me know. We could probably link up. Uh, let me know what y'all think about the vinyl down below. I need to listen to these two songs that aren't like on the album on streaming, but are some vinyl exclusives. Like I, I really like how he did that though, to make you want to get the vinyl. Like I really like that. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, man. Let me know y'all favorite songs off the album. Let me know how's how it's doing for y'all. I really really like it. It. I was really disappointed with me versus myself. I thought that was like. I don't know. I just, that one, my favorite A Boogie album. I actually got that one on vinyl right here, too. Um, it just, I feel like the leaks ruined this album. The leaks really ruined this album for me because it was so many tracks. I'm like, man, you should have just dropped that for like a throwaway, for throwaways or something. But I mean, it was, it just wasn't that great to me. Not, but it just wasn't that great. But let me know what y'all thinking down below, man. We will we will be back soon, hopefully, for another album reaction for Boogie. If he drop again. But really great project from Boogie. Great comeback. I really enjoyed this. Shout out Boogie, man. He did his thing. Let me know your favorite tracks down below. Y'all hit that like and sub button. See y'all next video.